Quality Bros, and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvin Drill. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the BIOS version of a Gigabyte motherboard that doesn't have a processor or RAM or video card installed. And we're going to use, to use a USB for that. So for that end, I'm going to use this uh, motherboard, the Gigabyte B550i Aorus Pro AX. Many other models are compatible, so this is not the only one, but this is the one I have. So the technology that allows us to do that is the key is called Q Flash. So your motherboard, of course, has to be compatible with that. So I'm going to show you the motherboard in a few more seconds, but that's what we need. The next step is going to be to open a web browser. Go to gigabyte.com. The website is going to look different depending on when you visit it. From here, you go to service and support. And here you're going to type the name of your motherboard. So which one is the one I have? 1.1 one one or 1.0? One so you can check that on the motherboard itself. This is a picture I took from my motherboard. And at the bottom, you can see revision 1.1. One one. So that's the one I have. So I'm going to choose that one and then automatically it's going to take us to the correct website. As you can see here, this is the, uh, this is the page for the revision 1.1. One one. You can see all the downloads. If you scroll down a little, you can select the operating system over there. You, you have all the drivers that you will ever need when a new one comes, you can download it from here. So if you scroll down, you can see the chipset, the LAN, and the other drivers. The one we need, of course, is BIOS. You click on that, you have to scroll up a little, and here you can see all of them as of today. Now, I don't know what BIOS version my motherboard came with because, of course, I upgraded it. I just know that if you scroll to the bottom, F4 team came in uh, 2021. And if you scroll to the top, it, uh, F16E came out in July this year. So uh, I don't know which one my motherboard had, but I know for sure it doesn't have the latest one. So this is the one we are going to download. So you go, uh, it's around 20 megabytes, as you can see over there. So you click download. And as you can see, I already have it over here. Sorry, I, I didn't show you. It's a zip file. So when you double click on it, these are the files. So I'm going to extract it to this gigabyte update that I created. So I'm going to close it and it's over here, the same files. So as you can see, you see four. The one we are interested in is the second one, the 16E. This is the, the, the actual update, okay? The other ones are for Windows to update it, but we don't need that. So this one is around 32 megabytes after it's decompressed. So we have to rename it to gigabyte.bin for it to work, as you can see over there. It's going to ask us, hey, if you change it, it might be unusable. Yes, doesn't matter, we need it that way. So after that, after you have it like that, rename, we're going to copy it to a USB. So as you can see, this USB is uh, four gigabytes, can be 16, can be 30, it doesn't make a difference. The process is going to be the same. So one thing about this USB, it has to be FAT32. If you right click on it, you go to properties, it says FAT32 or FAT16. It's going to work either way, but it doesn't have to be NTFS. So if you don't know, or if it's NTFS, you have to right click format, and as you can see, select FAT32, okay? So this one doesn't need it, it's already FAT32. And another thing, it doesn't have to have anything. So as you can see, it's empty, I'm going to copy it, so please uh, make it so it doesn't have anything, okay? So why are we doing all this? Why don't we install the processor, the RAM, the video card, install Windows or Linux, and we upgrade the BIOS? The reason is because in the past, uh, there were some issues with motherboards and AMD processors. I'm not sure about Intel, but the one I have is an AMD. And the problem was that the processor you bought, it was compatible with the, with the motherboard. However, it needed an upgrade. Uh, in the BIOS to be compatible. So how are you going to upgrade if the if the motherboard you bought and the processor are new? So you cannot do anything. So that's why uh, QFlash exists. Okay, so that's all I wanted to explain. Now we don't have much to do here and we're going to shut down the computer and use the USB on the motherboard itself. Welcome back. So this is the motherboard, the Gigabyte Aorus Pro AX. So I show you around, this is a micro I, ITX, it's very small. So the one we have to look is for this BIOS USB. So the, in this case, it's very distinctive, it's white, it can be any other color, and this also this other button over here. So now the USB we have created a few seconds ago is this one, and we have to connect it specifically to that BIOS USB port. The other ones are not going to work, okay? So now the next thing we have to do, as you can see, I don't have a processor, a RAM, or anything. We have to connect the 24 pins uh, connector from the power supply to the motherboard. 
So this is the only one we have to connect. Sometimes we have to connect the CPU cable, but in, in my case, I didn't need that. So as you can see, everything is connected. The power supply has to be on, of course, and we have to press the button over here. So the location might change depending on the model. So I waited a few seconds and nothing happened. Maybe I didn't press it correctly, so I'm going to press it again. And this time I can see a light, an orange light. Your light might be another color depending on the model that you have, but that means the process is starting, it's doing something. Okay, so the process for me took six minutes. So I was holding it like that for six minutes. You don't have to wait that long. So the video is sped up over here. So you can put it on the table and, you know, go do something else and come back in a few minutes. So while we're waiting, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. That really helps me a lot. So thank you. Thank you very much. So after it has been completed, you are going to see that it's not blinking anymore. There is no more lights over there. So that means the process has completed. So now we can remove the USB over here and well, that's technically it. So I'm going to show you my power supply. This is a regular power supply. You might have another, uh, another model, but now I'm going to put everything together and we're going to verify if the upgrade was successful. Welcome back. I forgot to do something uh, at the beginning. I'm showing you that I'm not wearing any jewelry or watches and I discharge myself of any static electricity that I might have in my body by touching the metallic case for a few seconds. That way I don't damage the circuitry. With that out of the way, as you can see, I have put everything together on this ITX motherboard. I'm going to show you. So this is the heatsink and the fan for the processor, super big for AMD. I have connected uh, the CPU cable or connector to the motherboard. Over here we have the RAM and the power, the reset button, the USBs uh, connected. As you can see, the motherboard is on. You can see uh, a glow over there. I don't have any hard drive installed, SSD, NVMe. Uh, I just don't have it yet, right? So the next step is going to be to connect the, uh, a monitor really quickly to any of the ports over here. And now I'm going to turn on the computer. As you can see, it's working and uh, allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera if you haven't seen it uh, uh, a few seconds ago, so it's working. Now on the monitor, we can see it's black and we waited and we can wait forever. It's never going to change. Uh, if this is not happening to you, you can skip ahead. If it is, the reason most likely is the model of your processor. For me, it's an AMD Ryzen 9 3900X. And these processors and many others don't have integrated graphics. That means you need a video card to have, well, video. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Then knowing that, we go back to the motherboard. We're going to turn it off. And now I'm going to install this Gigabyte G4 GTX 750Ti uh, that I removed or I took from my budget PC built. If you're interested in this video, you can click on the top right of this screen. And we're going to install it really quickly. You might have any other. The process is going to be the same. This is the one I have closest. So I, I have um, turned off the power supply. Now I'm going to install the video card. I connect everything and the socket for the monitor, I mean for the video card is different. So it's connected. I'm going to turn it on. It's working. Let's go to the uh, monitor. And as you can see, I see something now. It's going to go directly to the BIOS because I don't have any operating system in this one. And as you can see the information that my motherboard model, the BIOS version is F16E, the one that we have downloaded a few seconds, well, a few minutes ago. So the upgrade has been successful and you can see my CPU model as well. And that's how you upgrade the BIOS version on a, uh, on a gigabyte motherboard using QFlash. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comments or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next project.